All right, turning now to the trespassing arrests that have been made and, and what you've heard in court. Uh, yesterday, some of your clients like Alicia Dion and Kevin Flynn were in court to hear about their arrests, for example, on the night of uh, the early morning of November 7th in Kylie Garden, or which is nearby Curtis Hickson Park. Um, what what happened in yesterday's in yesterday's hearings? Well, there were there were two hearings. The first one was in front of uh, yesterday, at least, and I think prior to that, there's one in Judge Dominguez. The uh, was Dominguez the the day prior that uh, uh, Attorney Mike Maddox and Roger Bright had been involved in. Yesterday, there was one in front of Judge Greco, and uh, that has been continued for. Uh, for additional testimony by an officer and perhaps other uh, state witnesses. The, there was also one in front of Judge Conrad. I don't believe that. Paul was alone on the Judge Conrad one. I was present during the Dominga or the uh, one in front of Judge uh, Greco. And there's not been any uh, any ruling on that yet. But right, I, they're they're the main argument that uh, you know the attorneys involved are, are arguing. I think is that the First Amendment issue, that these are protester, protesters in a park, um, they're exercising their First Amendment rights, their occupation or encampment of the parks is a, is a form of First, ex first Amendment uh, expression and ex expressive conduct. Um, I think the, the State Attorney's Office argument is, well, you're in a park, the city has the, the right to regulate the park and establish park operating hours. Uh, these protesters were in the park during hours when the park was closed, uh, and they don't they don't have a right to express or to uh, to protest in the park when the park is closed, and there can be those kind of restrictions even on the First Amendment. Um, so it's it's a it becomes a balance between do they have the right to exercise their First Amendment rights in a closed park after hours, and uh, We'll see what happens with that because that issue is is going to be put in front of, uh, like I said, I believe there's twenty or so of these cases that are that are pending. Was there a, a ruling though in in Alicia Dion's case? No. No, no. Uh, that argued the motion, um, and we'll we'll wait for a ruling on that. But essentially, under these time, place, and manner restrictions, which is what they they call the restrictions on the First Amendment. Uh, this, the state's argument, and, and we'll see how persuasive that is, is that after uh, after hours in a park, you no longer are entitled to your First Amendment protections. So that's what they're saying. Once the park's closed, doesn't matter. First Amendment doesn't apply there. So that's that's the restriction that the a city or a state can regulate. And with the RNC coming in October, in, in August rather, that that's something that's likely to happen. Is that there's likely to be some protesters who try to camp in a park after hours and this could kind of set whatever happens here could possibly set a precedence for what happens in August I, w I would definitely think so I mean especially with the you know the parks nearby you know, that's you know, we anticipate that happening I, I think more so with the, the first issue I think that's what you're going to see more of because of the fact that that uh, if that issue if they were permitted to arrest subjects for sleeping on the sidewalk or for banging on the sidewalk or for placing items on the sidewalk then that gives them more leverage to make arrests than just you know in the city parks because as we were stating you know the sidewalks open at all hours so they can't regulate that as much but absolutely in terms of you know can they go to Curtis Hickson Park and stay there at midnight and be in the park I think um, this this ruling will have or these rulings I should say will have great effect upon what uh, Tampa Police Department is able to do and you know, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office is able to do during the RNC so there still are a lot of people who have been arrested for trespassing and have not had final judgment yet. What's the next step? What, when will they find out? In fact, I don't think there has actually been any ruling on any of the trespass motions. I believe the first order on any of the motions, period, was the one that came from Judge Conrad. Am, am I correct on that, Paul? Right, on the, on the city ordinance. The trespass uh, motions um, have just started to be started being litigated. Uh, just started last Friday. Attorneys Roger Bright and Michael Maddox uh, argued one of these motions on Friday.